what is going on guys it is your boy Cecil here with a video here today bringing you guys a very cool logo design tutorial here today showing you guys how to make some pretty cool and quick very awesome looking logo designs for your personal reasons company reasons whatever really cool tips and tricks here using this really cool like cloning effect now I actually did get this uh, I guess information lent it to me one of my close very close friends the I guess the co-owner of logo core if you guys know who that is that would be for me the who I'm talking about is Kira and uh, I just remember seeing this really really cool tutorial in the sense of this like kind of like multiple cloning by the way I'm not sponsored this is literally just you know one of those things and I was like gonna do this really cool little method here where I kind of have these very awesome like evenly separated um I guess letter concepts you can use with monograms and stuff like that but I remember this really cool cloning thing that I saw them do and you can very simply go check it out you guys uh, with yourselves I put the link in the description down below localcore.com slash blog is what it is and I uh, swear to god I'm not sponsored it's just one of those things helping the homies out and you guys should really go check them out they're very 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 good at what they do and like I said I got this tip from them I'm gonna show you guys here today so let's go ahead and get this thing going so you can see right here, right, I want to talk about those like little offset things, these little cool little uh, kind of like paths, like kind of, uh, I guess, protruding out of this little uh, word that we have here, or this little letter that I have here, which is this F. I kind of have this really cool example logo going on for myself. Um, I made it into like a really cool like floor. If, if there was a company out there, it was called floor. Hit me up. Look at this. It's pretty cool, right? You kind of see those little steps here. I don't know. Whatever. If, like floors. I don't know. Just go with it. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of redo this and show you guys how I'm going to be able to do it and how to use this really cool uh, little trick here. So I'm going to quickly, first of all, uh, make sure I have myself set with this exact, just like kind of with the, with the F here. I want to just make sure I have that again. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to use my grids here. All I do is press control and then the quotation or what is that one? The right next left of the enter. I don't know what that would be called, like the... Uh, abbreviation I don't freaking know I'm gonna go ahead and, and just duplicate this shape here by holding alt and dragging very simply we'll make a duplicate take this point clip it onto that point on the top left over there and I'm gonna go ahead and just duplicate this again and then I'm just gonna make a very simple left this is just me making a very very simple letter here um for you this can be any letter that you want to do I'm gonna do two letters just for the sake of the tutorial um the first one's gonna be an F though it's very simple to make and very very uh easy obviously right as you see I just kind of like took my uh, took my shape I you know dragged it with the alt to make a duplicate I use control and shift to rotate it very nice and evenly on a nice 180 degree angle and I kind of combine it all the shapes together um, just to create a nice little F here. Now I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to have the Pathfinder um, table open, Windows Pathfinder. This first tab right here is called the Unite tool. So if I were to go ahead and highlight all these shapes together, um, or I guess highlight all these shapes individually, as you can see, they're all individual shapes. If I were to press this little um, path right here, Unite just simply will make one simple, nice little shape for us to use, and we're good to go. So one thing else you're going to have to do is have Windows and you're gonna have to have, what is it called, appearance open as well. This is gonna be using mainly for this entire effect here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just really quickly start off with turning off of my uh, fill here, right? And turning on my stroke color, just like so. Now, as normally you guys will be in the stroke options right here with your little uh, little dashed lines there and whatnot and move your width and whatnot from here. However, in the effects tab, excuse me, the uh, appearance tab, you're gonna be clicking on the word stroke just to bring up those same exact settings, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of make sure my align stroke is on the outside. I'm gonna take my width here, and for personal reasons, I found that 10, 11, 12 looks pretty good for me. Uh, I just basically wanted to have it there because I don't want to have this empty space here because I just think it would look pretty awkward. So I kind of want to fill that space in there and kind of have it like this, which is pretty cool. Now, one thing to keep in mind at all times, you're going to be creating a new stroke on the bottom left here, but make sure you guys are selecting your layers because if you're not selected in Illustrator, it'll have you go through the entire process and have nothing selected and you did absolutely nothing. So make sure you guys, of course, highlight the layer if you guys need to or just click over here if you guys want to as well. Um... I'm going to go ahead and highlight this just like so, and uh, please bring it up again, right? So, bottom left, add new stroke, just like so, to add a new stroke for us. We're going to go to effects, we're going to go to path, and then offset path. We're going to turn on the preview, that way we can see what the heck's going on. And on our offset here, I'm going to just put this up one by one with my arrow keys, just so you can start to see what's going to be happening here. It's going to spread very, very nice and evenly. So, my offset, I'm going to put this on 20. Because I'm going to be using 10, uh, I guess, 10 point intervals, um, meaning that when I do that the next time, I know automatically that's going to either be 30 or 40 because it's on 10 intervals. It's not going to be less, I guess, easier math for anyone. If you want to put it on 18, 19, it's not going to be super easy to make sure because this offset is basically meaning the 
spacing between this um, stroke right here and this stroke right here. So make sure you guys keep that in mind. All the other set, uh, settings stay the same. You can press OK. And then here comes the effect coming in, right? So basically, all you're going to really have to do is just do it multiple times, as many times as you personally want to. I'll do it one more time. So like I said, highlight it. Because if you don't, I'm just going to show you guys. You can just go through the entire process. Look at this. Watch this, right? You'll see there's no preview button. That's because there's nothing to preview. But you can do whatever the heck you guys want. Change whatever you guys want to do. Press OK, and then of course it's going to show up as nothing. So make sure you guys go ahead and highlight the layer. Then go to add a new stroke right here. Effects, um, path, offset path, turn on the preview. And of course that I know 40 should be the offset that I'm at because it's at the 10 interval and basically multiplied by 10, of course. So you're going to have all the evenly uh, good spacing here. Press OK. And then of course you can always change your colors and stuff, but I'm going to keep it just like this for now. Um, but yeah, just very, very easy and very, very simple things right here. And uh, what I went ahead and did before was I just made a new layer. I took a rectangle tool here and I went ahead and just kind of like um, close some of these paths here rather than having them all. Uh, oops, let's turn off the uh, fill stroke and put on a fill. Right. I did something like this, which is basically like kind of like, uh, I guess, taking some of these paths. I want to have it closed here. Right. Right here. And we'll have one closed right here. We'll have one closed right here. And this is just going to add some really cool aesthetics to it. Or if, like I said before, if you're looking at the one that I made previously, right, um, it kind of looked like a floor. So I kind of close it off where, you know, you can see like a very obvious step, right? So I'm going to go ahead and just look at this again. As you can see, it's a very, very awesome way to create some very cool logos. Maybe you want to do it like an M, like I'm going to do in a second. You can make like a cool maze out of it, or you can just make a very cool looking letter for your actual brand or personal brand. So that's the little effect here with this little F. I'm going to go ahead and just do it once again in a very cool uh, M. So let's go ahead and put this all on this one. Let's just call this F. We'll go ahead and lock this layer, make a new layer. And let's go ahead and do an M really quick. So I'm going to just make a nice, simple little... um. Uh, let's just do this again, right? And I'm gonna go ahead and just take and make a simple M. So I'm gonna go ahead and just duplicate this. I'm gonna rotate this just like so. Take this one right here, this little point. Take the top left. I'm gonna go ahead and select both of these layers or drag and kind of use the actual uh, direct selection tool just to drag and highlight both of these um, shapes here. So if I press Shift M on my keyboard, all these individual shapes have a nice little selection of different uh, shapes that I can select from now because all these are now kind of intervaled or excuse me, I guess interacting with each other, right? So you can see it's very, very easy to see the different shapes. So if I press Alt, a little minus button comes next to my mouse. I can just click and delete just like so very easily. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just take these shapes here. I'm gonna merge it together actually for now. Take this shape move it, oh, excuse me, duplicate it, I'm going to uh, reflect it vertically, I'm going to take this point here, re re reflect it, why did I say that, and I'm going to go ahead and make sure I zoom in all the way and make sure I put this on the point, and for some reason I'm jumping around the point, that's so annoying, let me turn off snap to pixel for a second, and then put it on, I'll turn it back on, if I need to turn it off again, we'll see, um, I don't know if I like how far it is, in a, in a sense of like how, uh, you know, how distance it is, but for now it doesn't really matter, I'm just going to go ahead and just take this and just move this down just a little bit to kind of give it this really cool look to it, I guess. Uh, what I'm going to do as well is kind of move these down just to kind of kind of even this out because I want it to look pretty cool as well still, right? And I'm going to just kind of fix that a little bit. Um, it still looks kind of weird, but you'll see, right? It doesn't really matter. We'll make this look cool just by doing this little effect here. So, of course, naturally, you got to turn off the uh, fill here and turn on the stroke. Go back to your appearance tab. You're going to go back to stroke right there. Turn the alignment on the outside, which is the farthest right. Take my width. Let's just drop this or put this up. Let's just say like 15 is pretty good for me. You can see it looks pretty cool so far. I'm going to go ahead and highlight it again. Make sure we go to add new stroke, effects, path, offset path, preview. Let's just do on 20 again, right? Uh, ooh, that looks pretty cool actually. Let's just do 30 then. Okay, we're going to press OK. And I'll just do it one more time for you guys. Very simple. Right, effects, path, offset, path, and this should be 50 this time, preview, and it's actually 60, okay, right? Press okay, and there we go, right? So it's so, so easy to do, very, very nice, turn off, turn off these guys for you guys, right? So you can just see, it's very, very easy, you can move this one simple letter, and move everything for you guys, and it's just so cool. I think it's just so cool for you guys, for the individuals that I just want to really do some really cool, quick looking logos, and make them look very, very awesome. If you guys want to, if you guys do not know already, even though it's all strokes right now, you can go ahead and go to an object, wallet selected by the way, go to expand appearance, and it'll all turn into fills. I can see right here now, they're all fills, right? So you can each move each individual one, color each individual one if you want to, if you didn't want to do it inside your stroke options, and or if you wanted to, you can just kind of like cut things out now the, the way you possibly wanted to. Like if you want to take this one shape here and make a nice little opening for yourself, right? You can have that open up right there, 
or we can have the entire thing open up let's just just go for it <laughs> right you're gonna have the entire thing open up you can do whatever the heck you guys really want to at this point but this is just a really cool little concept really cool little fun little tip for you guys and it really came in really really clutch for the whole entire thing that i wanted to do because i was gonna have you guys like kind of like just kind of do some next level ridiculous nonsense but this comes in handy and i promise you guys it will help you guys out in the future for sure um because it did definitely help me out today so uh yeah hope you guys do enjoy today's tutorial here today like i said i did get the information personally that little tip right there from local core and you should really go check them out like i said i'm not sponsored i'm not kidding i'm not sponsored but i have a very very close friend there that actually owns um part of it so as always guys having a beautiful beautiful weekend um uh yeah that's pretty much it for me i've been having the best week like in my life in the in the sense of like the whole graph design stuff i branded a very very awesome um uh fortnite friday if you guys know what that is i guess you would call it an event and uh, i actually got a commission for another one bro you're gonna see something really cool the everything pack is on sale personally if you're only watching this uh it ends actually tomorrow so Ju uh what is that june 17th so i apologize but if you guys have um having or if you're watching it today if you haven't checked it out yeah i would definitely go check it uh check it out so uh yeah sorry for not having my camera on today as well it's because your boy is basically sick and sweaty and like hot and tired and your boy is not looking great so i didn't turn on the camera anyway much love guys i'll talk to you guys later Seso hq out don't forget to keep smiling stay positive and stay as productive as possible homies later